A U.S. Navy warship blasted a floating target with a laser in the Middle East. A U.S. Navy warship operating in the Gulf of Aden successfully fired on a floating target with a high-energy laser weapon system this week. The test, which the Navy carried out Tuesday, was a demonstration of the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, or LWSD, Mark II MOD-0 aboard the San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock USS Portland. The service is testing whether mounted lasers can defend ships from small boats and even unmanned vessels. Vessels in the Gulf of Aden and surrounding waters face growing threats from not just manned watercraft but also unmanned systems, such as the drone boats packed with explosives used by the Iranian-backed Hathai rebels, as the Associated Press has noted in its reporting. Ships could also face aerial threats from flying drones. The high-energy laser weapon system on USS Portland was first tested in May 2020, when it was used successfully against an unmanned aerial vehicle while sailing in the Pacific. The Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, or LWST, aboard USS Portland is a more powerful follow-on system that builds on lessons the Navy learned from previously testing the 30-kilowatt laser weapon system, or LADWS, aboard the afloat forward staging base USS Ponce in the 5th Fleet Area of Responsibility. By conducting advanced at sea tests against UAV and small crafts, we will gain valuable information on the capabilities of the Solid State Laser Weapon System Demonstrator against potential threats. Captain Kerry Sanders, then the commanding officer of USS Portland, said after the 2020 test. The new LWSD, Sanders added, is a unique capability the Portland gets to test and operate for the Navy while paving the way for future weapons systems. He added that, with this new advanced capability, we are redefining war at sea for the Navy. The LWS and the LWSD are not the only directed energy capabilities that the U.S. Navy has been looking at as it modernizes its combat systems. The Sea Service has also been working on the High Energy Laser and Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, or HELIOS, system, a less powerful laser weapon system that could arm the Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. And this sort of work is not limited to the Navy. Developing laser weapon systems, much like developing hypersonic missiles, has become a focus for warfighting units across the military as they shift their attention to great power competition and the possibility of high-intensity conflict. USS Portland The USS Portland is an interesting choice of ship with which to test the Laser Weapons System Demonstrator. A San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock, the USS Portland is optimized for embarking sailors and marines and getting vehicles and material to shore. The Navy explained that the USS Portland is part of the Essex Amphibious Ready Group that includes amphibious assault ship USS Essex LHD-2, dock landing ship USS Pearl Harbor LSD-52, and embarked Marines from the 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit. The units departed San Diego in August and began operating in the U.S. 5th Fleet region in September. Though the ship is not designed to engage in surface warfare, the class does have dual 8-cell MK-41 vertical launching systems that can accommodate Tomahawk cruise missiles and support land operations. The Navy also armed the class with two 30mm chains guns for close-in surface threats and two rolling airframe air defense systems.
The USS Portland mounted the LWST near the ship's bow, where a deck gun would typically be placed. The U.S. Navy's Laser Future Though no panacea, ship-based lasers and, indeed, laser weapons writ large are the future of naval warfare and will make their way on land and in the air. Though still in a testing and evaluation phase, the USS Portland's most recent laser weapon exercise will likely be followed by additional evaluations on other Navy ships too.